So here you have function again, and we want to draw a graph of the function f of x equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 between minus 4 and 2. So we're going up from minus 4 down to 2 on the x. Our function is f of x equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3. And then we're going to get out our f of x, our point. So when I substitute in x equal to minus 4, I get minus 4 squared plus 2 times minus 4. Take away 3 more is equal to, use your calculator, minus 4 squared is 16. Take away 8 is 8, take 3 is 5. So minus 4 up to 5. When x is minus 3, minus 3 squared plus 2 times minus 3 minus 3 gives us 9 take 6 is 3 take 3 is 0 so minus 3 0 when x is minus 2 <coughs> minus 2 squared plus 2 times minus 2 minus 3 is minus 3 so minus 2 gives us out minus 3 when x is minus 1, minus 1 squared plus 2 times minus 1 minus 3 is equal to, so minus 1 squared is plus 1, take away 2 is minus 1, minus 3 is minus 4. So minus 1 down to minus 4. When x is 0, 0 squared plus 2 times 0 minus 3 gives us minus 3 again when x is 1 1 squared 2 times 1 take away 3 gives me 0 so 1 0 and finally when x is 2 2 squared plus 2 times 2 take away 3 is equal to 5 so 2 and 5 Okay, and now our job here is to draw the graph. So we're going to draw our x and our y axis again. So these are our x and our y axis, like so. My x axis and my y axis. Zero in the middle, so one, two, three, four. Minus one, minus two, minus three, and minus on the y-axis we need to go up as far as 5 1 2 3 4 5 and on the minus is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and now we're going to plot the points so plot the points minus 4 up to 5 minus 3 0 minus 2 down to minus 3 minus 1 down to minus 4 0 down to minus 3 1 0 and 2 back up to 5 and we must join these dots to form a smooth curve like so and that's your graph, f of x equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 between minus 4 and 2. And we always label our graph, okay, with our x and y, and we give the graph our title. So that's the title of our graph, okay, in this case here. Between minus 4, so we start at minus 4, and we end at 2, okay. So that's question number 6. For you and here we have the second part okay so again we have our x we have our function g of x equal to x squared minus 3 so g for graph and we have our f of x or g of x in this case so we have from minus 3 to 3 so we're going to let x equal to minus 3 and we get minus 3 in bracket squared, take away 3, which gives me 6. So minus 3, 
and 6. Very important to use brackets here as always. When x is minus 2, minus 2 squared, minus 3, which gives me 1. When x is minus 1, minus 1 squared, minus 3, is equal to minus 2. So 1 down to minus 2. When x is 0, 0 squared, take away 3, is minus 3. So 0 and minus 3. When x is 1, we get 1 squared minus 3, which is minus 2 again. So 1 and minus 2. When x is 2, 2 squared minus 3 gives me plus 1 again. So 2 and 1 is the point. And when x is 3, 3 squared is 9, take away 3 again, gives us 6, so 3 and 6 is my point. And again we're going to draw our x and our y axis, like so. Our x axis and my y axis, clearly labelled, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3 and we need to get up as far as 6 so 2 3 4 5 6 and down to minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and again we're going to plot our points so the first one is minus 3 all the way up to 6 so minus 3 up to 6 minus 2 up to 1 1 down to minus 2, 0 to minus 3, 1 to minus 2, 2 up to 1, and finally 3, 6 is 3 up to 6 again. So we don't forget to join the points with a smooth curve like so. And that's my graph g of x equal to x squared minus 3 between minus 3 and plus 3. Okay, and that's the second graph for you.